Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the Ryu Jinx emulator on your Mac in 2024. So this will allow you to play Nintendo Switch games. The emulator has come a long way since my last video, so it was due to create another one. just want to say this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. Obviously stuff like the prod keys and title keys, I'll cover that in a second, but you should be getting them yourselves from your own console for legal reasons. And you know any games you should you know get them yourself as well. Again, I can't you know show you where to get those things from if you just want to get it online. But honestly, if you Google it, you'll find it. They're not hard to find. And in general, if you just have any questions you know regarding the video, feel free to post down in the comments below. So first of all, you want to download a few things. First of all, you'll need the Ryu Jinx emulator. So go to ryujinx.org, and I'll provide a link to everything that I show you. Uh, in the description go to download scroll down click download Mac OS this will download the latest version I've already got it downloaded so I'm gonna cancel that then you need the latest switch of firmware which is from the Darth Sterney website again there'll be a link in the description uh, oh they ended up doing it anyway and so yeah 18.1.0 recommend the archive.org link it starts downloading within a few seconds of clicking it again I'm just gonna click X oh I clicked the wrong X that's why and then the final thing this is optional but I recommend so you go to this website there'll be a link in the description and you can see the compatibility for your game obviously it's hardware dependent but some games just don't work at well uh, uh, you know very well at all regardless of how powerful your hardware is so the game I'll be testing and you want to leave this you know the rest of this is issue is open there so you just want to type in Super Mario or like you know what your game is on Super Mario Wonder, so I'm going to you know, go into that, open it up, and then it will show you some you know, set of specs of the computer that was used to actually test it. So this was obviously tested on a Windows machine based on the specs. And you know, there's some you know, issues here and notes. I have faced those issues. And then there's also what's great is people are commenting their setup and you know what problems they're having and potentially if there's any solutions they've come across so it's worth having a look through that as well the status is playable which is very good uh, but again you know depending on your game you know your mileage will vary so now let's go ahead and install it and get everything all set up though so if you open up your download folder you'll have a Ryu Jinx folder uh, zip file you want to double click it you'll extract it this Ryu Jinx application, you know, drag to your applications. That's technically now installed. So let's, you know, go ahead and launch it. You can even go to applications or click search up here and type in Ryu Jinx. And if this pops up, that's fine. Click OK. Go to your Apple icon in the top left, System Settings. Go to Privacy and Security. Scroll down to where it says Ryu Jinx was blocked. Click Open anyway. You'll ask you for your password or touch ID and then click open. This is just a one time thing with the first time you install it. Then it says your keys are not found the prod.keys. So click OK. You want to go to File, Open Reugence Folder. In the System folder, you want to put all the keys. So I've in downloads, I've got some keys, prod and title keys. Again, I can't show you where to get these from, but honestly, if you have a quick Google, you can have you can find them very Easily, so the product doc keys are used for you know sys decrypting system data and like firmware data. You will need them. The title doc keys are used for decrypting certain game files. Uh, you know, I find sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. Great if you do have them, so that's where you would put them, you know, anyway. So you know, and now just shut this down, relaunch it, and if the keys have been successful. You know installed in the correct location you won't get any error regarding the keys anymore now you want to go to tools install firmware install a firmware from a XCI or zip it was a zip file that we downloaded select that click yes boom done it's you know very quick especially if you have a Mac with flash storage if it's slightly older Mac then it will take a bit longer now really you can start playing games, but I'd rather just go through some of the, you know, settings now. So if we go to settings, first thing in the user interface, 
you know really all is you can leave you know again feel free to have a look and change what you want to change if you know what you're doing but there's a few key things in game directories what you want to do you just scroll down go to add and you want a specific you know directory for your games so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy my games i've got a super mario wonder game and the update for it I've got a folder in documents called ROMs. I'm going to create a folder in there called Switch. That's now pasted over here. So we have this almost 4 gig file for the game and this roughly 50 meg file for the update. Now if I go to Add, Documents, ROMs, Switch, click Open, and now you'll just keep it all updated, which is really, really nice. Now in input, you can you know map your controls. If you have a controller attached, like a PS4, Xbox, PS5, Nintendo Switch controller, this is where you can you know map all that up. And obviously you can map it one to one, or you can map it you know slightly different as well. You can also do it with keyboard and mouse, like you know by default there's already some keyboard and mouse you know bindings right here. Then you can do set it selected for if you want a dock mode or you know non dock mode as well for obviously the joy compare because you can choose your controller type and you know you can you know docked mode i find is fine you don't need to really mess around with anything else as well so to change a key let's say if i want to change up and i want to change it to let's say p you click on up it highlights blue click p it's now changed i'm going to change it back and that's pretty much it so you can select your input device if you have like a controller you know connected I'll have separate videos covering how to connect the different controllers. Let me know which controller you would like to see next. And you can select, you know, what player this is to be assigned to. And then, you know, a profile as well. So you could write a profile name, click save. So you can have different profiles for different games as well, which is, again, really useful. And obviously just regularly just click apply so you don't lose any settings. There's some keyboard hotkeys like toggling V-Sync, increasing resolution, etc. Feel free to, you know, assign these. In system, you want to, you know, choose the correct region for me, Europe, and then for me, it would be, can I see British English, and then select the correct time as well. So for 23. Okay, keep VSync on and keep FS integrity checks on as well. In CPU, you want to keep all of this as you know the way I have it set up. And for memory management, host unchecked. For graphics, the back end you want to choose Vulkan if you have the option. If not, do OpenGL. But if you most likely will have Vulkan, that will give you the best performance. Prefer GPU should only have the one, most likely. And you know, for this, keep that checked. Enable texture recompression recompression there's a few games that are listed here like super mario wonders for example uh you know it is worth selecting it for those games so i'll select it and everything else you can leave as a resolution scale i know a lot of people on youtube will be creating these videos and they'll say you know let's whack up the resolution to like two three x especially on switch games you're gonna struggle with performance even on native you are, i'm gonna get you know performance you know issues so check the game out Make sure it's working great. If it's working to the level that you would like it performance wise, like so somebody might want 60 frames, you might be happy with 45 frames, but make sure it's working. Then you can up the, you know up, you know increase the resolution. And the aliasing this just you know improves that scare stair jagged you know, you know effect around objects, makes things you know more curved, you know, that, that should be curved. Again, this has a huge impact on performance. Only enable this if you are happy with the performance. And like anisotropic filtering is more for obscure angles, you get blurriness. And you can just leave this on auto aspect ratio, leave it on 16 by 9. Graphics backend, leave this on auto as well. In audio, make sure SDL2 backend is selected and network, networking, you can enable that. But I'll have a separate video covering that. And that's it. So click apply, you click OK, and the game has now appeared. That's pretty much it. Yeah. and you can obviously choose the window size you can choose if you want to start games in full screen mode whilst you're in the game if you want to choose to toggle full screen choose the language and if there's particular file types you want to hide it again you probably wouldn't want to and if i go to manage user profiles you can have different user profiles as you would in the you know a real switch because your games will probably 
need this. Okay, one thing I want to show you before we launch the game is if you right click it and you can manage DLC, title updates, cheats, mods, etc. from here. Uh, the main thing I want to show you is title updates, how to update your game. So if I click that, you want to click add and okay so you want to select your update file so it's just this one right here click open it'll open the update file but it's not installed yet or selected yet you want to click it then click save may as you can see it's changed now you can just double click the game to launch it up i put the you know turn the volume off but you know uh, you obviously feel free to add that you can change vsync here you can change dock to handheld docked can change the ratio here as well volume that's pretty much it you can't change like the vulcan or the gpu whilst in game so let me if i can remember the controls correctly i forgot the controls so settings i'm going to go to import it was e and u e and u Okay, so let me just skip this. So again, obviously, you know, there are performance drops. This game is notable for performance drops. It's obviously one of the higher end and newer games as well, and that is inevitable. But you know, you will there are always updates happening, and those updates do would do help with performance as well. So that's pretty much it. that's really all i wanted to show you obviously you can continue playing the game i mean if i go to action you can pause it if you just want to go away and do something you can resume the stop emulation as well i'm going to click stop right now there's no safe states not yet but hopefully there will be soon if you have any questions on how to you know do anything in this video get anything set up feel free to post down below in the comments if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.